Hello, I'm Candy. I am the STEM specialist with Girl Scouts Heart of Central California. That means I get to do fun activities with girls just like you that pertain to science, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, Girl Scouts Heart of Central California is located here in the beautiful state of California. Today, we're actually going to be working on our uh, on a still life portrait, and this is for uh, the Girl Scout painting brownie badge. A still life is a painting of an object such as a bowl of fruit or a vase. Uh, many artists use this technique to reflect the world around them and uh, just show us something interesting about their lives. And now it's your turn. This activity will take about 30 minutes to complete with about five minutes for setup and five minutes for cleanup. Uh, the items that you will need are something like an old towel or an old tablecloth that you don't mind getting dirty. Uh, some paper, you can use canvas if you have any. Uh, thick paper works the best. I usually use um, mixed media uh, paper for some of my paintings. Uh, some paint depending on what you are painting you will definitely need different colored paints uh, you will need some uh, different sized paint brushes for this activity as well a cup with water such as this uh, make sure that once you start dipping your paint brushes in here you don't accidentally drink the water it may look fun but it doesn't taste good um, a small towel or a rag so that you can clean your paintbrushes. I find it that paper towels work the best because you can just dispose of them afterwards. Uh, you also need a household item that you would like to paint such as a globe like I had earlier. Uh, you can also use a vase or something stationary that you can just look at for this activity and a pencil. You definitely need a pencil because we will be sketching out our painting before we actually get uh, down to actually painting it. And uh, somewhere to put your paint. I use this, but you can use a regular plate if that is what you have. So go ahead and pause the video now and um, go ahead and collect your supplies and then come right back. If you have brothers or sisters or a friend who would like to paint with you, you can set up a painting station for each person and you can all paint the same uh, still life. Even though you are still painting the same thing, uh, it would look different because um, depending on where you're sitting, you would get a different perspective for your still life. Let's say you're painting on this side and your friend is painting this side. This looks completely different than this. So each painting will be unique, just like the, each artist, which in this case, it's you. Um, it'll be fun to compare how uh, everybody's using the same still life and yet each painting is beautiful and unique and how each perspective turns out. Once you have your uh, setup ready for your painting station, you can arrange your still life in on a flat surface like a table or the floor um, and just make sure that you get the perspective that you would like. So I'm going to use this side um, for my painting opposed to this side with a, a little knot on it. So this is how I will be viewing my still life. Now we're ready to get started. So first, what we will need is our thing that we'll be painting on. For me, it'll be this canvas and a pencil. We will be using this pencil to lightly sketch our still life onto the canvas. And um, don't worry too much about uh, the lines that you will be using for the, the sketch. You will be painting over them. So uh, just get a sketch down of what you'll you're doing that way we know what colors go where on our canvas so once you have your sketch ready um it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect uh, as you can see on my sketch there are some lines that are not absolutely perfect we will cover those up with some paint later um once you have your sketch down uh just take a look at your um your still life and see where the light touches it. As you can see here, because of my lighting, the whole thing is illuminated, but there's some parts 
that are extra shiny like you see here so those parts we what we will be doing is actually taking some uh, white paint and mixing it to make sure that all of those um, angles are reflected and it makes your painting look real instead of just flat um, you can also make other parts darker by using brown or black or gray to make uh, some of the shadows appear. Now remember, you don't need too much paint on your brush. You just start with a little and then you add more as you go. All right, when you are done with your painting, go ahead and set it somewhere safe where it can dry for a couple of hours while you clean up your brushes, you put all of your stuff away, you put your still life where it's supposed to be because we are Girl Scouts and we leave everything cleaner than we found it. Uh, once your painting is dry, however, you can put it on the refrigerator, you can put it on the wall, in your room maybe, somewhere where you can display it and show it proudly. Like I'm going to put this painting up on that wall. Uh, when you're finished with this activity, think about what you liked the most or what you didn't like um, about your still life painting. Sometimes uh, we tend to take a little bit of liberty with our paintings and uh, we might change the colors. Maybe you didn't like the colors. Uh, maybe you wanted to choose a different still life. Um, what did you find most enjoyable about your painting? Uh, was anything challenging and how did you deal with that? Personally, I found it a little bit challenging trying to mix my colors and making sure that I got the color that I absolutely wanted. But what I, how I dealt with it, I, I mixed more colors and more color until I finally got that shade that I really, really wanted. And lastly, um, what do you think about painting objects like flowers or fruit for your still life now that you have done a still life portrait? Uh, now that you've tried this, you can expand um, anything that you you would like to do. If you like this experience, you could try doing different kinds of still life uh, using pencils or crayons instead. And maybe you can try doing something else like a flower or a, an apple next time or some other type of fruit. Uh, maybe you can even imagine something that is out of this world. Maybe next time try painting the sun or a different planet. Uh, you could even imagine something that's on a spaceship and create a still life out of that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed making a still life like I enjoyed uh, showing you um, what I've done. If you like this video, please, please, please share it with another Girl Scout and be sure to check out more videos for Brownie Girl Scouts. If you are not a Girl Scout though, please join us. You can always go to girlscouts.org to learn more about becoming a Girl Scout. And once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.